Warning, this video is for entertainment purposes only. And by no way, shape or form are these the views of Cruddy Dave and the Cruddy Dave Media Enterprises. Hit that like, comment and subscribe. Thank you. Car crash here in the early morning hours of Monday morning on the Suitland Parkway. It claimed the lives of three people and tonight we're learning more about one of them. She's 21 year old Deja Reds, but you might know her as London Dior an up and coming rapper in the district. She was killed instantly when the two cars crashed. And here's her story from someone who knew her best. Her brother, who was also her producer and manager. You know, for wherever they were coming from, they were going, coming to go down to drop her off and beat up about it. Still haven't hit me yet. We're putting a tribute together that I couldn't do it on it. So every time I get to a moment that I remember, I'd be sitting there just watching it, you know, because I got so much stuff of her. That's her best friend. First shows and her, her big show and, and, and her just chilling, rapping us, joking around. It's, it's not no walk in a park. You know, and Lundy, the only thing that she really wanted to do is just kind of like give back to her mom and her sister, her dad too. More so like, she, when she made it, she wanted to bring everybody with her. If her and her mom was, they, they best friends. Like, you, you, you'll never see a relationship like that ever. Like, they, like, yeah, she knew that that's her child and she knew that's her mom, but they, their relationship wasn't like mom and daughter. It was like best friends. <laughs> She accomplished a lot of stuff that she, she was right there at the, at the cusp of about to be out of here. The family celebrated the life of a young woman today who was already making her dreams come true before her life was cut short. Local rapper Lundy Dior was killed in a crash on Suitland Parkway last week. Her boyfriend and another friend also died. News 4's Kristen Wright was there as Lundy's loved ones came together to remember her. Those who loved Deja Red say a rising star has made its way to heaven. It's a celebration. It's not the end. She still don't make a left turn on that one way. Shot man 23, that with the drum say. Go back game, we rockin' for London. Shots went off, they whackin' for money. Do you don't make a left turn on that one way. Shot man 23, that with the drum say. Go back game, we rockin' for London. Shots went off, they whackin' for money. Do you rappin' it? Moment, was gaining momentum in her career, is now silenced in a deadly crash. The rapper's admirers this evening are remembering her unique voice. He's not just the ladies, but the fellas in the independent scene here in D.C. actually vibed to it because she was, she had her own lane. Her name was London Dior. The D.C. rapper is also remembered by her nickname, Lundy. Her family says she was kind, energetic, well-loved. Fans admired her one-of-a-kind voice, but the music stopped Monday, Monday morning on the Suitland Parkway when the rapper died in a fiery car crash. It was forced Chris Gordon is Today, man, I got a sad one. I'm not even gonna lie. 
this one kind of hit me a little different when I was doing the research. But today we got London Dior, real name Deja Lachey Red, but she also goes by Lundy Badass. Now, Lundy was 20 years old when she died, and she was born in D.C. I think she's from the Clay Terrace area, but don't quote me on that. Now, Lundy was an up-and-coming rapper from the DMV, and she was getting national attention. She also had a co-sign with Rick Ross, and she had a couple features with Rico Nasty, who was also a famous DMV female rapper too. At the age of 12, Lundy was inspired by Nicki Minaj, and she began writing raps at the age of 18. That's when she took it serious. In February 2017, she released the I Am Lundy mixtape, and it was pretty successful. But sadly, on May 15th of 2017, Deja, aka Lundy, and her friend Tay Boss, but people say she was her boyfriend, but I'm not sure about that. They were driving at about 4 a.m. in a sedan, and they say that a Jeep hit them on the Suitland Parkway, and then the car caught on fire. They say that the driver survived, but Lundy, Tay Boss, who was also a DMV rapper, and the friend of Lundy and Tay Boss, who was also in the car, passed away. Now, the whole thing with Lundy, man, like I always say, I think under all my videos, man, is just sad, man, because, like, she was definitely on her way, and, like, she actually had a flow, like, she had good cadence, and her delivery was actually spot on, like, most female rappers, their delivery is not really there, like, they have flow, but their delivery is not there, but Lundy actually had good delivery, good flow, and good cadence, man. I actually just found out about her from a little dude interview when he said long live Lundy. So I think that uh, Lundy is actually from Clay Terrace. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't really matter where she's from, though, man. She actually about to do something, man. But it seems like Rico Nasty, you know, she took her torch and, you know, she carried the torch. And, you know, now Rico Nasty is the hottest DMV female rapper. There's not a lot of female rappers out the DMV that are really popping like how Lundy was. You know, Lundy was really on her way to being mainstream, man. But yo, long live Lundy, man. Long live Tay Boss. Long live the other person. They didn't say their name, which was kind of messed up. But long live everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? I hope she's doing good up there, man. I hope her casket is spacious and all that, man. Condolences to her family, too, man. If I say anything wrong in this video, man, hit me in my DMs, man. We can straighten it out, man. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that, man. It's your boy, Doughboy.